Hey, it's Laura Whitelaw here from Overwhelmed to Empowerment and laurawhitelawcoaching.com. Thanks very much for visiting my channel today. If you've ever put off doing things that you know you need to do in order to achieve your business goals, or if you've ever forgotten to complete an important task in your business that has cost you either time or money, or if you've ever screwed up a sales call, missed a deadline, or reprimanded yourself for some perceived mistake or failure that you've made in your business as an entrepreneur, then this video is for you. I'm a mindset coach and I work mainly with female entrepreneurs to help them to achieve their financial and business goals. And today we're talking about how to end self-sabotage in your business. But before we get into it, please hit the subscribe button so that more people will see this video and benefit from the content. So why do we self-sabotage? There are a lot of reasons why we might sabotage our own efforts to achieve our goals in business, but it's almost always our unconscious limiting beliefs and negative emotions that drive this behavior. Even when we keep a detailed planner for appointments or have a perfect sales script, we still screw things up sometimes. It's usually due to some kind of anxiety or fear that we have. It may be fear of success or fear of failure, fear of change, fear of criticism, fear of rejection, or some other fear. But at the end of the day, there's some uncomfortable feelings or negative beliefs lurking under the surface of our unconscious minds that causes us to self-sabotage. When we then, we criticize ourselves for screwing up and that only makes us feel worse and locks in the sabotage behavior. So I want to help you release this pattern so that you can achieve your goals and the success that you desire for your business. I'm going to take you through a short exercise to help you release these patterns of self-sabotage. The exercise is a tapping exercise, also known as EFT or emotional freedom techniques. If you've never heard or been exposed to EFT or tapping, you're missing out on one of the most amazing self-help tools available to you, and I'm honored to be able to introduce it to you. The technique works by tapping on the acupressure points on the face and body. This helps to release the stress response that we feel when we think about making a sales call or speaking at a networking event. When we release the stress, we're able to be more authentic and feel a lot more comfortable in our own skin. So first, I want you to focus on one of your business goals where you have this pattern. Maybe it's networking, sales calls, keeping up with the bookkeeping or something else of your choice. So let's get started. Just follow along with me. Tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I sabotage when it comes to my business, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have a tendency to sabotage and I get frustrated with myself, I honor my feelings and I forgive myself. Even though I get angry at myself sometimes for my tendency to sabotage my own efforts in my business and I don't know why I do it, I'm open to letting this pattern go. Eyebrow point. I have this tendency to sabotage myself. I get so angry. When I forget to complete an important task or when I screw up a sales call or maybe I've even missed some important appointments it's so frustrating and I'm not sure why I do it. But maybe there's some fear there. Fear of success or fear of failure or some other fear that causes me to self-sabotage. I'm not sure what's driving this behavior, but I'm open to healing this pattern and I'm letting go of this self-judgment. Maybe this behavior is driven by an unconscious belief 
that I can't succeed or that others will be jealous of me or criticize me. Whatever it is, I'm open to letting it go and instilling the belief that I can succeed. Maybe I'm worried that I'll be a target for criticism and jealousy, but it's just a belief and not necessarily the truth. In fact, I'm open to releasing whatever conscious or unconscious belief is causing me to self-sabotage. And I'm open to releasing the fear that's driving this behavior. It's safe for me to succeed. I choose to feel safe with the idea of succeeding in my business, whatever that might look like. And I'm ready to release the self-judgment that pops up when I screw things up. It's okay to screw up sometimes. It's safe to be imperfect. And I allow myself to feel calm and confident about my success. Take a deep breath and let it out. I hope you found this video helpful. You may want to tap through it a few more times to release deeper and deeper layers. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and don't forget to hit the bell notifi notification and the subscribe button so that you'll know the next time I post a video. Thanks again for watching and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.